okay guys today let us look at formula we spent the last two videos looking at functions those that start off with equal sum and count and max and min and average and count r and count blank and power and square root all of those now let's move to something a little bit simpler require a little bit of math so let's apply it to something that we can all relate to you know we are well not necessarily me seeing that i'm almost half a century old but young people you love gadgets so let us see if we can work that through all right so here we have some gadgets we have phones we have earbuds we have our 800 of phones we have earbuds for about six dollars so it could be more likely wireless bluetooth earbuds wireless headphones tablets smart watches virtual reality headsets so these are the gadgets that we're into right now and we're buying them in okay quantities for our home so simple calculation if we have a headphone for 800 dollars that we want to purchase and it costs and for 800 dollars sorry and we want to buy three come to reason then that we would start off with an equal sign and what we do is that we multiply b2 which is this cell by oops multiply that by this cell c2 oops c2 right so multiplying b2 by c2 and that is what we have and indeed 8 times 3 is indeed 24 so that looks correct all right let's continue on well, here's the issue now so when we do this function and we replicate it down using the fill handle that should be the last time I replicate this down or copy it down using the auto fill here's what we notice what we entered was equal b2 times c2 but as we copy down what the computer automatically changed the b2 to b3 and the c2 to c3 then again what it did it was changing b3 to b4 the c3 to c4 all the way down until we got to b7 c7 so this is what we call relative cell addressing when we copy the formula or the function it works in functions as well and the computer automatically the spreadsheet changes it's programmed to change the cell addresses for us but what if we don't want it to change sometimes what if we're multiplying like in this case now we want to get the we want to have the total here i want to get five percent of the totals so we have equal d2 because what the total is multiplied by the five percent here but watch what happens when we pull use a fill handle and pull down now we're going to get some things that we don't want to get for example this this is not real double click here all the way down to b15 we don't want that and then here this one b13 b13 is empty likewise beef so that something is wrong here and b12 is empty as well and here we are multiplying the the, the total the subtotal so far by the tax amount so something is wrong with that we want it to remain at the five percent all the way through so what we do to anchor it to fix it to make it absolute this cell address b10 absolute as so we call it to make the b10 absolute we put a dollar sign in front of the b and a dollar sign in front of the 10 one may ask why a dollar sign no reason in particular the persons who wrote spreadsheet the, the the programmers the 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 software designers decided that they wanted to use a dollar sign so they use it they could have used an exclamation mark they could have used an ampersand they could have used a hash but they decided that guess what we want to use a dollar sign to say don't move from column b don't move from row 10. so in other words it is now fixed to this cell and now when you copy downward this is what happens auto to copy downward now we get the right answers here we are still b10 all right we go here still at b10 so it is can no longer change i said it's anchored there it's fixed it's absolute here's another one let's do this again for good measure now we're going to calculate the tax now there's a tricky thing here do you think we should calculate the tax at the 2400 or the amount after the discount 
seeing that we're not really paying 2,000 for it for the item we are paying about 2,000 maybe 300 and or 200 and something all right they say 2,280 probably there but anyway let's see how that works all right so we have equal sign here and we say we open the bracket and say the total which is d2 d2 minus e2 so it's a e2 so we subtract the, 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 the discount from the total then now we will multiply by a cell and let's make let me call this cell tax for argument's sake so i'm naming the cell but then now computer gives me this thing name all right so let me go and name it then what's the name let me right click down here and go to define name some computers older versions or different versions may have name range so the name here and here's a tax right here already in there for me just to make sure i can type it over if i want select tax click ok and that is where it is now so i name the cell tax and i copy this down so what i have now is there's another way we can use absolute cell addressing it's some people may say it's not absolute and they're probably right because absolute usually has a dollar sign there but it does create the same effect all right and i find this to be more effective for me personally all right so what we did again was that we um come up here f2 do an edit we had the total minus the discount amount and then after we did that calculation we multiplied by the tax rate of 16.5 percent and then we got the amount that we should pay for tax all right now let's calculate the sale price the final price is going to be d2 minus the e2 plus the tax of f2 or f2 sorry and it doesn't matter which order those occur in so we don't need to put the order of operations here it doesn't matter which order it occurs in and that is our answer so we should pay for this item about two thousand six hundred and fifty six dollars and twenty cents for the headphones for the earbuds for the six earbuds we'll probably pay about three hundred and ninety dollars and forty three cents for the wireless headphones five seventy one dollars and eight cents tablets eight ninety six dollars and forty seven cents smartwatches one thousand fifty one dollars forty one cents virtual reality headset seven hundred and seventy four dollars and seventy three cents but the main focus of this exercise was to give you a bit of a synopsis about one absolute cell addressing and two how to get the same thing by using name range so there are two effects that we can have and these are all formulas right now there are no functions that we use just all formulas all the way through all right so they operate the, the mathematical operations there minus um multiply and so forth and let us remember this please that when we're doing these the order of operation still applies we're doing math so the order of operation still applies when we're doing this let me put this nice and big and bold order of operations so the first thing that we have here is brackets right then we have exponents then we have uh well again multiplication then we have division addition and subtraction subtraction all right that is it all right so it's bem das brackets exponents multiplication division addition subtraction and here's a spreadsheet to show that if we did not do it this way let us say we did not put the brackets here we would have gotten a totally different answer which would have been kind of weird way out that wouldn't be right all right so that's why we have the order of operations effect all right cool thank you very much your people have a good day